Supersize Your Business, No Nonsense November, tip and tool number 17. Today we are talking about something I'm obviously an avid fan and believer in. This is just one stack. I literally have big plastic tubs full of different journals and different notebooks for different things. And they are not organized. One of my things I just thought about this morning is I need to go back through and put some semblance of order to them or just get rid of them and throw them away. But I'm not going to throw them away because they're literally decades worth of lessons learned, of uh, business stories, other kinds of stories, experiences that I don't want to throw away. I did when I was younger uh, burn my journals after I got married and when I was... Uh, when I had my son, I, I burned my journals because I'm like from like my teens and 20s and, and yeah, my teens and 20s, not into my 30s yet. But I burned them because I'm like, you know, yeah, these were experiences I learned. I saw my own patterns. I changed. I grew. But do I really want my my kids ever? My son was uh, soon to be born and I, I knew I'd have a daughter again someday or a daughter as well someday. I don't know how I knew. I just wanted a, a son and a daughter, and that's what happened. I guess we do have the ability to manifest the things we want in our life. But I wanted to make sure that he wouldn't accidentally read what an idiot his mom was in certain areas and aspects of her life, because those are some of the tough years of learning lessons about relationships and things like that. But I am a huge believer in journaling. I keep most of my journals. Uh, my last job in corporate America... And I figured it out before this, but I really, really implemented it in my, uh, I call it my last corporate job because it was my last corporate job. I never went back to corporate America after leaving that particular role because I was having more fun and and it felt better to me to be building my own businesses than building businesses for other people. But I, at that job, walked around with these little blue notebooks. This isn't it exactly, but it looked something like one of these. Uh, they were spiral bound and I walked around with one of these the entire five years I worked there. Why did I do that? Because I knew that if I was going to be true to my word, follow up, do what I say I was going to do, I had to have a system for doing that. So I, I actually still have these notebooks in my storage unit from that job. I kept all of them because it was such a powerful lesson that I learned doing this. But I would walk around and I would take notes of things that were, came up or that I wanted to follow up on or look into or that I said I would do. And then I would put a little checkbox by it. And at the end of the day, I would go through that and I would make sure I checked off or put on my schedule the thing that I said I would do and had to follow up on. It made me extremely reliable and extremely valuable to that organization because I could be counted on. I could count on myself to do what I said I was going to do. But more importantly, other people knew that they could count on me as well. That is one of the examples of the power of writing stuff down and journaling. And what you write down is entirely up to you. But... My question for you today is, do you as a business and in your business and in your company, write things down, write things down as they happen throughout your role in the business? I was going to say everybody's role. I have a, a different perspective on this and, and how we should do it and why we should do it as individuals. And I share that with the people that are in my organization and I don't require them to do it, but I encourage them to for a lot of reasons. Number one, you're learning and growing and becoming a better version of yourself. You're taking feedback and, and showing that you can respond and grow as an individual in the organization. So when it comes time, one of my biggest reasons that I did this and I taught other people to as well was when it came around to your performance appraisal, your performance review, which everybody in corporate America and the companies I worked for had one. Every year you had a performance review and it was almost always tied to your compensation. So if you wanted to raise, you needed to show that you had actually gotten results and performed and done your job. Well, if you're documenting it and taking notes and keeping track of it all year round, guess what? You sit down in about 25 minutes to an hour, you can see all of the progress that you've made and share that with your boss. I guarantee your boss won't have seen even a third of it or 10% of it. But when you come in with documented, hey, this is a result. This is the accomplishment. This is a project that you gave me. This is what happened. This is what we learned from it. When you go in prepared like that, you always get the raise. I, I never didn't get a raise in my performance reviews because I always came in extremely prepared. So that's another power of daily journaling and documenting. Now, I shared the tool today in the Let's Grow Annual Challenge private Facebook group, the day one journaling app. Uh, do not use that, but you can if you want to 
have an app on your phone and on the computer that you just document in every day. For me personally, especially with my vision challenges, that does not work. I'm still an old fashioned notebook kind of gal. And this is this is our daily challenge uh, for this year, the Let's Grow Annual Challenge. I try to get the whole thing in one notebook every year. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. A couple of years I've had to go into a couple of notebooks and put them together. But I document the daily challenge every single day. I document Supersize Your Business, the content that I put in there every single day. Now, it's also up on the computer because I do a daily video. But if I want to find specific background information and things, I can go to my journals, go to my notebooks, and find the backup for that information. So I use journaling not only as a personal development, personal growth, self-reflection. Oh, my God, look at that pattern that I've had been running for 10 years now. Maybe I should address that in my beliefs or feelings or thoughts about something. But uh, it's an extremely powerful tool for you as a leader in your business, but also for your business as a whole. Uh, if you ever get into any challenges or regulatory issues, if you've got everything documented that you've done and the thought process behind it, you're going to be in good shape. Unless, of course, you're doing something nefarious, illegal, or unethical. Then you probably won't be and you probably don't want to document that, right? So, you know, like anything else, take the advice with a grain of salt and apply it to your personal situation. Uh, but if I'm talking to you, if you're listening to me, I guarantee you're just all about making the world a better place so you don't have to worry about anything negative coming out of your information. All right. That's all I've got today. Love to know if you journal. Do you do a daily journal? Uh, I, there's there's guidelines for doing that. But if you're curious about that, ask. It's just, you know, simple four-step process. I'm a believer in simple processes these days. Have an awesome day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.